All right, turning now to the newest developments in the coronavirus pandemic with Governor Whitmer lifting more restrictions. Welcome news for many. Hair and nail salons still have to wait a while, but they will reopen statewide June 15th. Mar McDonald live tonight. Uh, Metro Detroit gyms, though, are still waiting for the green light, though a uh, reason for optimism for those in that industry, Mara. Well, yes, Devin, and I think it's safe to say phones were melting down all over Metro Detroit this afternoon and this evening. Take a look. William McCray is ready to open, and after the governor announced gyms up north can reopen shortly, his phone started ringing. I've been getting flooded with calls, you know, when are you going to be open? When do you think you're going to be open? You have any idea? Can we come now? They can't come just yet, but hopefully we'll be given the green light like salons were today to reopen statewide on the 15th. Antonino Salon in Birmingham has reconfigured its entire space and will be staggering staff, extending hours to minimize overlap, coupled with heavy duty cleaning protocols, including fogging the salon nightly with a virus killing agent. And of course, everybody will be masked. I think my goal is if I create the safest environment possible, then people, when they come in, hopefully will relax a little bit and then maybe they'll feel the warmth, you know, throughout everybody, even if they can't see a smile. Smaller gyms and fitness studios are going to be at an advantage going forward because one of the governor's requirements is small class size. Press, so I want you to squat down, bring it up. Perfect for Kathy Chester's Disrupt Fitness Gym, which already has that. Plus, she had the cleaning protocols in place even before COVID hit. With my multiple sclerosis and having rheumatoid, opening up my own gym for me was just, I had to always keep everything and be on the lookout, keeping everything so clean. So my practices after each class was just such an extreme cleanup. Back here live, in talking to William and Kathy, they both have such dedicated clienteles, people needed something out of them. So both of them went online and did virtual classes, Zoom, you name it. And they both say that after all of this, they think there will still be room for a component for online classes. They think it's really gonna be part of like the new normal of what kind of services they offer. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Interesting. Okay, Mara, thank you.